an agreement. My kids have been held out of state. You were also criminally trespassed over the phone by me. You are, you I were warned. I asked an officer to come here last night to do a check-in because I'm worried they're in danger. But you and came they, over here after being told that you were criminally trespassed but I have an agreement from, saying that, from this residence, correct? But my order says that it's my time with my kids. They're supposed to be in Arizona. My you husband's were, kept them out of school. You were trespassed from this location. I just need my kids, and no. you're welcome to look at this order. They've been out of state, out of school, and my husband lied to everybody. I'm sure he lied to the cop last night. We've so been, this is my We've order. been in contact with... Do you have a victim's advocate I can speak to in the police department, please? Okay. Uh, Melanie, so where did you get this order from? So this is our um, mediation order. Okay. We also have another copy of the original um, copy of the court. Um, this is my time with the kids. My husband's been hiding with them over a month out of state. Yeah, we talked to you the other day, right? Yes. So and I asked for somebody to come in and okay. check in on them to just make sure they're safe because uh -huh. my husband will, or my ex-husband will not talk to me. So we told you they were safe yesterday, right, on the phone? We said, we said we on, saw the kids. On the phone, the but kids. they are supposed to be in my custody right now. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. There's no... Okay, hey, hey, right now, we're working through something else, okay? Uh, yeah, so he's, just want to he's lied aside, to we'll everyone saying he has, moment, okay? he said he's had a protection order against them and there was nothing, I've ne never been served with anything, um, so, he's, he's lied to everybody and he kind of so does So what, this, so. what were you wanting to happen tonight, coming over here, were you going to try to take the kids away from them or what's not, going on? No, I'm not taking, I'm just trying to show that I was going to bring this copy to them and say this is my time with the kids. Okay. That he's had them out of state and he's been lying to, everyone's protecting them, like I know they're nice people. My in-laws are nice people, but they've been lied to, saying that there's a protection order in place, and there isn't. My kids are, I'm worried they're in danger, because I, I'm, my husband's been doing a lot of things that cause me to worry. Um, he says he was shot at a month ago, um, and then he went into hiding, and no one in Arizona has seen him for weeks or my children, and he kept them out for over a month with truant absences. I asked an officer to just come over here last night to just make sure they're safe. And he said, I can't do a, a welfare check or a wellness check. So did for you not hear me when I, 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 I was talking, we were talking to you on the phone the other day and said, we came here because you were here. We came here, we checked on the kids, they were Are you okay. About yesterday or yeah. the day before? The day before. The day before. I heard, so, and I had to call in because I didn't know if that was, I just heard something on speaker. I didn't hear everything I heard that if I, it wasn't super clear. And so I called in the next day and I said, can you, because I don't want to have to go over there again. Can you send an officer to come check in? came over here anyways when we told you that you well, were trespassed from well, It doesn't matter, legal, right? Well, my children are inside, I understand and they're that, probably right? in danger. They're, they're probably in danger. You know that for sure? Like. Well, I know what my ex is capable of, and he sent. He has a lot of evil people working with him. So I just I just wanted to make sure my kids were safe last night. And so, the officer. So do you think so this I need was to speak the to a right? Advocate, okay. I'm can, just, but you're. You were trespassed, correct? You remember that on the phone? I I asked you if you understood, and you stated I, you did. So okay. So you understand you're trespassed, right? Yes, but I believe with my order, I can come and just get my. Ch I'm no. not going no. in. No. No, no that's going that's. No. Nope. Just coming. You're trespassed in. from the property. You being on the lawn right now is a violation of that trespass. Okay. Well, I can get off. Well, it doesn't really no, matter don't. now. Okay. I'm I'm not trying to barge into their house or just run and take my. Kid. I'm just trying to be peacefully, trying to do what's right and what's in my order. Is this an order from Arizona? Yes, it were is. In there? They're illegally out of state right now. Like they, he's keeping them out of school for over a month. I've been searching for them. I don't know what else to do. I asked someone to just come over and see if they're safe last night, and they. Carlson probably scared them off, saying there's a protection order, and there's no protection order. We can go and look everything up right now. Okay. I haven't seen or talked to my kids. I have a two-year-old, a four-year-old, a six-year-old, and a nine-year-old, and they haven't seen their mom for over, and I, my husband's been doing drugs, and he... Well, this is probably not the best way to go about it, right? To come here and try to... I tried asking if an officer could just I make sure they're that. safe. I understand that, and we told you but they I, were I was safe, told right? I have a mediation, I have this court order saying it's my time with the kids. If I know where they're at, I can go and get them. No, so so you can't come over here and forcefully take them. Not uh, and we can't thing, come over here I'm and forcefully take them out, just going to get them, them out, because right? I know they've been lied to saying there's okay. a, a protection. Well, that's something that you're going to have to take up with the courts, right? Like we told you the other day. 
You're going to have so to go to I don't the know north. if they're safe, and I feel like they're in danger. We can go in there and check and see if they're safe. If and then can, we can sir. come back here, and we can tell you sure, they're you safe. Can. Stop talking. Stop talking, okay? We can go in there, check if they're safe, but we already trespassed you from this property saying you can't come back here. And what did you came back here? And it doesn't matter if you got this piece of paper. We told you not to come back here, and you come back here, and you're upsetting everybody, and now it's just a whole freaking problem. So your whole thing is here is just you want to come here and check if they're safe. You want a welfare check on them? Yeah? Yeah, so that's another problem, right? So this is a whole this is a whole civil problem. This is a whole court thing, okay? Because even if you do come here with these papers and say, yep, it's my time, they're not giving them back to me, then the only thing you got to do is go to the courts and you got to say, hey, listen, if th these are signed by a judge down there in the court or whatever, he can say, you know what, this is your time. Let's get this back in court. Let's have him come back to court. Let's do this. Then we can give you a report number and we can stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, I'm explaining some things. Yes, okay. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I am, sir. So this isn't the this isn't the best way to go about things. Yes, sir. You can bring up everything to the judge if you think he's doing drugs and that he's been getting shot at and that it's not a safe environment for your kids. But what you can't do is come to a place where you've been trespassed. Sir, I just fought with my order and I just So now there's a bigger problem here because we trespassed you and you weren't supposed to be on here and you're causing alarm to them and everything like that. Who's your judge down there? your judge who signed your papers where'd you even get these papers from um, they were mailed to me you live in arizona yes sir was this done in mediation or in court because i don't see anything it's a that court ordered, so i don't I see anything signed by a I judge i have the, the copy with me signatures if you need to see that. This was just for them. I was just bringing them to them because I know they've been like... This is a mediated settlement agreement, not a court order. Yes, the court mediation was... Well, it, if it was done through mediation, it's not through the court. That just means that you guys sat down with the mediator, you agreed on something. This is not something that's been enforced by a judge. It has, sir. I have the paperwork in the car. So you guys went to court, you yes, sir. sat there with a the judge, judge yes, made a, a determination. Um, I Let's believe, grab that real quick so yes, I can see what kind sir. of judge that and is. And I have a... Yeah. Is there a way, sir, for him to check, um, like, with a picture or something, just to make sure it is that? What, you don't believe us that we can go well, no, and sir, check I, the world for you? No, no, what? no, sir, I just... They have a ton of cousins over, probably, and I just want to make sure... We'll make sure. We're not here to lie to you or just make sure that your kids are not being no, secure. Sir, I know. That's what we do about this, right? Thank you. I just want to make sure. You're a big deal. You're a big deal. So, like, we take that thing seriously. So, we're going to go check out the system. Yeah. 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 Are you guys still married? No, sir. Your divorce is final? Yes, it is. When was it finalized? October, it's on there. Um, October, is it the 22nd? So. Oh, here? Yes. So, beginning October 15th, we didn't have any mediations. 
orders mailed out yeah. yet. I didn't have any copies, so he began hiding them with the kids. Um, and we haven't seen them since. Okay, have you been back to the court since he's left the state of Arizona? Actually, have you, I like, would love to speak to, to a victim's advocate okay. because I'm not safe in my home. Not safe in your home in Arizona? I'm not, and so I had to. Um, I've just been looking for them. Um, I don't know how to do I felt like it says in here to not go straight to file in court, it says there's a process that we both agreed to go by. So I'm just, we're supposed to contact each other first, and he hasn't been contacted. So if you guys haven't been doing that, then you can skip Well, there's that a whole order. It just, so I was just trying to do things the right way. I don't want all this drama and just. Um, he's tried to file something, what I heard. I don't know, because uh, I couldn't be at my house because I didn't feel safe. Um, it's had me followed, and I, I've tried to just do the best I can with going about this. I don't know. I've never done this before. Like, I don't. Okay, so uh, the proper thing to go about this is, you know, when all things else are failing, what you got to do is go to the court, and you got to see a judge, and you got to do the whole court stuff, right? Yeah, Does that but not make sense or what do you want? No, it just, it's a long process. Like, I've already, he's been hiding with process, them for a month. That's right, but like, if how they're do I hiding sh- and you can't get in contact with them and you're doing all this stuff, then the next step is to go to court and do all that stuff, right? I couldn't safely, safely do that, and so I, I just... You can't safely go to court. No, I couldn't safely go to that, the resolution case here. I'd, I'd love to just speak to a victim's app. No, nope, you're good. Oh, you can keep on going. On. You're good. Yeah, that's cool. possible, but, uh... I mean, you guys can go in and make sure they're safe tonight, and I don't yeah, know what he's yeah, going to do tomorrow. Another, I don't know if he's going to go run away there. with the kids somewhere, and if they're in danger, so I don't know. If I have this, and it says it's my time with the kids, like, how it do I... It actually doesn't say that? in the court order that you guys have a set schedule. It says that you guys have worked through mediation. We do. It's in here. It's it, just there's, a plan it says flex, flexible parenting plan. Uh, there, no, they, have, it can be changed at any time. That's what it says in the court we order. Set, we have set days, set weekends, and so we, we did set all of that. Well, it maybe in mediation you did, but in the court order it doesn't specify a specific time frame or a set schedule. It says that you have a, you've agreed in mediation to a flexible parenting plan, which can change at any time. There's no set time for parents. Okay, what do you recommend for, like, he's been hiding with them for over a month, like, that's not allowed. He's out of state with them, he's kept them out of school, they just got unenrolled from their school in Arizona. So, like I'm saying, we're not going to force the kids to come with you, we're not going to drag them out or take them or whatever like that, so what I'm telling you is that you need to go to the courts as soon as possible, and I know it might take a little bit of a time, it might take a little bit of time and stuff like that, but that's so, the best can way. can I ask you something? Good, how are you? Good. Just get up over here. Yeah, you're, f- you're free to go ahead.
Did you check on the kids? They're fine. You can do their fine. They need their playing. Playing video games, watching film. They're fine. Okay. Okay, cool. This, from what I'm hearing, this isn't even official. No, it's not. So get that shit out of here. Yeah. That's just time. So let's give her a freaking time to cite trespassing and move on. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody's safe. Everybody's safe, and that's not even binding or legal yet. So, quite mean? frankly, How if, is it not legal? because it hasn't been signed and it hasn't been submitted by your by your mediator, okay? It, so it has. It's, facts can I show are, you, sir? facts can are, I show it, you no, I don't want to see it. I actually don't want to see it. Facts are, I think you should get a okay, citation yeah. right now for trespassing, okay. and then we should move on. Okay. You want me to do it for you, good? Sure. Yeah, it's our case anyway, so we can go and just freaking follow up on it. Yeah. What do you yeah, it's our case, so. Um, just hang out here. Let's go grab our car and give her a case number and everything and do that. So, yeah, just stay right here with these officers and we'll be back in a moment.
Who's in the car with you? It's my uncle Alex Cox. Alex Cox, you know his date of birth by chance? Um, I don't. You don't? I'm sure he'd be happy to give it to you. Okay. All right. Today you're going to be receiving a citation for criminal trespass. This is, I'm going to have you sign it. It's not an admission of guilt. Just acknowledging that you were given a copy of the citation. Okay. You'll also be provided with a copy for yourself. Okay. Would you like to sign the citation? Would I like to? <laughs> I mean, if I have to, do I have to sign it? You don't have to. Yeah, I don't. But if I don't have to, I mean... I, I don't know. It, I don't it all know. depends on yeah. the judge. I mean, it's sure. if I you mean, refuse if to I, sign it, the judge might. We'll just put on there that you refuse to sign. Yeah. That might not look good to the I judge just, when you take care of it. I don't believe right, so, it was trespassing since I had a legal order, so I don't understand all that. I'll have to go. Because lawyer, I told you you were not allowed on that property over the phone. You stated right, you understood. Right, but if my kids were in there, it and doesn't had matter. It, yeah, I understand now. Day, I know. Okay, I'm not trying so. to argue, so I'll just choose not to sign it. Okay. Real quick, we'll get you out of here. Let's put on there. Get your right index finger. Just go ahead and place it right on there. Okay. Yeah, let's go on the ground. Right yeah, go ask. See if you have to drive a license, take a picture of that. I'll just put on our copy that we submit that you refuse to sign the citation. Sure. I don't know how all that works, so I'll just do it on it. Okay. There's a copy for you. Okay. I did circle contact information for the American Fourth Fort, Fort, Fort District Court. So do you have information um, as far as, like, does go into the office to speak to a victim's advocate? Or oh, yeah, yeah. So here's this for you. Thank here's you so a card. Um, I can write on the back for you our victim advocate's name. That would be great. Um, Thank you so much. Her name's Donna Whiting. She's our victim. Out. So here's our case number. Um, this is the officer in charge, Officer Burdine. Um, let me let me grab this clipboard. Let me write on there, Donna Whiting. That's who you're gonna want to talk to. So, um, as far as like a welfare check, like I don't want to. I've been told uh, Brandon's mother's abusive, and I just is there. Is it okay to ask every day? Absolutely. Go check on the kids. And you're welcome to. Sure. And that's. But the kids, so and both interactions have seemed happy, healthy. That's good. So I. I okay. So there's uh, ask for Donna. So on the front, there's a uh, there's an office number, or you, um, that's what you want to call during regular business hours. Okay, so ask they only have regular business hours, like they wouldn't be available right now. Right now, no, okay. yeah, because she's off and stuff, so you'll have to call her tomorrow, okay. regular business hours, talk to her about the situation, you can reference that case number, okay. um, we'll write up a report on that stating what happened here today, but yeah, okay. unfortunately you can't show up even with, you know, even a court order to try to that, so. do all that stuff, okay? Do you have any other questions or concerns for us at this time? I don't. Okay, don't come back, please don't, because yeah. the next time you come back, you're probably going to go yeah. get hooked into Utah County Jail. Okay. I just thought I was doing the right thing with the quarter, but okay, I learned. Okay. All right. Other than that, you're good to get out of here. Thank you. Yep.